What is up guys, it's Midwest Raider coming at you with another video for my channel. Today I have the Eon 610 from JBL Professional. It's a self-powered, uh, says sound reinforced PA speaker and it's been out for a while now. But I wanted to kind of give you some thoughts between it and the RX8 series that I just uh, put out not too far, too, not too long ago on my channel. Uh, so let's compare. Let's talk about this Eon if you've never had an Eon before and uh, let me give you my opinions and views on it. DJ Martini Midwest, Midwest Raider right here on YouTube. Let's check out that intro. What is up guys, it's Midwest Raider coming at you with another video for my channel. So today I wanted to bring you the JBL Eon series, the 610. Um, it is a 10 inch subwoofer PA speaker uh, from JBL. So I just did a video on the IRX series, 8 inch from JBL. Um, and these two speakers are kind of comparable. So I wanted to bring you uh, a little bit of thought on the IRX series and a little bit of thought on the JBL. Now the JBL Eon series has been out for a long time, uh, so they've definitely been established and a lot of DJs have them out there, uh, positives and negatives on them, all kinds of things. Uh, so I thought I'd bring you my opinion and also try to compare them a little bit so you guys have that input as well. Uh, I just wanted to say please like and subscribe, uh, share. Uh, I just try to share my knowledge and help everybody out there. Try to keep it simple and try to you know share my little bit of knowledge on the uh, DJ uh, equipment that I bring to you and the reviews that I bring keep it simple and share it with you guys just trying to help and let you guys know what's going on out there so thank you for subscribing sharing just trying to build my channel and please keep sharing guys thank you but anyways let's jump into jump into these speakers here so the IRX series I did a video so check that out if you guys are interested on the 8 inch IRX uh, from JBL and now we have this Eon so the biggest difference between the two speakers in all honesty between at least the 8 inch and this 10 inch now in the Eon series you can get a 10 inch a 12 inch and a 15 inch in the IRX series you can get an 8 inch or a 12 inch okay so there's only a couple options and there's no you know 8 or 10 in the different sides here so <laughs> So, but the 8 inch and the 10 inch are very, very similar, even size. Uh, these, there's only a few inch difference between the 8 inch box and the 12 inch box. So really, uh, they could be really close. The sound is pretty similar. Um, I actually give the overall clarity to the 8 inch because the 8 inch just was blew my mind for how uh, the clarity was. Some of the songs that I listen to really, really uh, be a great monitor speaker, that 8 inch. Um, the 10 inch is still very very good very close but uh, just a little bit of extra clarity on that 8 inch that's what I watch I also say overall on the Bluetooth that you have on the Eon series you cannot Bluetooth stream music you can only Bluetooth to an app that helps you change some of the EQ presets which makes the you know you can definitely range it to make it sound the best from the app which is a very cool feature but it, i wish it just could bluetooth music as well <clears throat> now there is very very easy ways to make this a bluetooth speaker we'll talk about that a little bit later and i also plan on making a video on that as well and we'll get that all worked out but you automatically get that with the IR irx series from jbl because they can bluetooth stream music okay now the only thing on the downfall on the 8 inch from the IRX series is the EQ presets. Now this speaker has very good EQ presets and I really do like them. In the IRX series I really just didn't like the EQ presets. They just really didn't do it for me. They didn't change the music at all. 
there was only really two that really made a big difference um, so I just felt like they lost there okay um, but um, overall so if those are big things to you um, the 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 clarity they are so close that like I said but I, I gave it to the 8 inch but they were very very close and the only reason I did that is probably because there's some little bit different technology in them that make them sound a little bit better uh, for the clarity wise um, but overall very very close the 10 is still really close so uh, I think you're gonna get a little bit better bass out of the 10 of course and you think it should be probably more like major of a, a difference of having a 10 between an 8 but they're very very close actually but you are gonna get a little bit more bass mid bass out of a 10 inch than the 8 inch um, but you, you would think it would be more but they're really close like I said also price range now now the Eon series has been out for a while now so you would think that with the Eon series um, you're definitely gonna be able to get those cheaper and you will be able to guys so the IRX series 8 comes out as 329 and you could probably pick one of these up for about 250 if you look around honestly um, so you're gonna save about sixty eighty dollars between wherever you find I found this one uh, a little bit ago on a open box deal so I was able to get it like sixty dollars cheaper than normal um, so the price ranges are so close that you could actually save money on getting the 10 so might as well get the 10 than an 8 right uh, so that's gonna be completely up to you and so uh, a lot of these decisions are gonna be very close um, but it's gonna be up to you and what you think but I'm just trying to share all these opinions and ideas out there so you guys know so the big difference guys though is the IRX series has Bluetooth and the Eon series does not so just remember you cannot mute well okay I should put that a little different the IRX series can stream music Bluetooth and the Eon series cannot stream music Bluetooth okay it has Bluetooth but it will not stream music through it you can only use that Bluetooth to connect to an app to be able to do some EQ function functionality and change some EQ presets around okay so that is the big difference guys clarity wise they're really really close like I said I, t I told you which one I gave the, the award to so uh, enough about that let's kind of get into this speaker now um, and I'll just give you my quick opinion and a quick overview of what I think about the speaker okay guys so let's uh, jump in and I'll show you a couple things give you a quick sound test and uh, then I'll, I'll finish up the video guys so hopefully not too long but just some information for you guys so let me bring the speaker to you guys real quick um, overall this is a great speaker I, th I really think this one's probably a little bit more rugged than the IRX series. Um, has these nice little rubber feet, very well built in the plastic wise. Um, I think it was made definitely for DJs when it was made, and it just probably might hold up a little bit better. Um, and like I said, you can get it cheaper right now, so um, I think this is probably the better option uh, for longevity. Um, but you know there's just a couple little things that are uh, better for functionality and make it easier like you don't have to buy any accessories or anything to make this Bluetooth or anything and with the IRX series you know you have Bluetooth so you don't have to worry about that you have a good sounding speaker you have volume so it's just gonna be a little bit about ease but overall I think at least with the, the between the two sizes an 8 inch or a 10 inch I would probably go with the 10 inch and that's just my opinion guys so tell me what you guys think but anyways let's get into this uh, up on the top you have your light button so you can shut the light off on the LED in the front you have the Bluetooth like I said but it's only for this app uh, but you have some boot the sync and you have this EQ plus which is the, e the the app so you're gonna be able to hold that down and connect with that app and you're gonna be able to adjust some presets uh, make them your own and make the speaker sound the best that you can okay um, you do have automatic presets so you have a monitor a main sorry a main a monitor a sub and a speech and they do work pretty good uh, that main is gonna be your full speaker it's gonna give you best your best full range bass in highs mids everything okay the monitor is gonna kinda clean that up a little bit you're still gonna have everything it's just gonna clean everything up a little bit 
try to ex, uh, you know, make some of those highs and mids a little bit better. Okay, uh, your sub is going to cut your bass out pretty significantly, um, and your speech is still going to give you that bass, but it's also going to accentuate the voice. Okay, so uh, you still get that bass, and you kind of kind of lose that mid. You're going to lose a little bit of, uh, I would say, the highs. So you're going to gain mid range. You're going to gain bass. You're gonna lose some of the high clarity, so your trebles and stuff. Okay, um, you're gonna have a master volume here, guys, and then you're gonna have signal volumes on your channel one and two. Your channel one and two are quarter jack and XLR jacks. Okay, and then you're gonna have a through XLR jack uh, to go link to another speaker if you'd like to do that. Okay, on the bottom, you're gonna have a inline fuse, your plug-in, and your on and off switch there okay guys and then over here I'm gonna bring this up close <clears throat> right there you can see the button and there's a little inset button and that is going to be for your microphone and for your line in and I'll explain that let me put this down here uh, it does have some weight to it so definitely a little bit heavier than the uh, IRX 8 that one is a little bit lighter but Really size wise, they're really close. It's only a few inches here. So that's the front and that's your light in the front right there on the bottom. Uh, pretty good construction, like I said, handles and everything. But I think it's just a little bit rugged. Um, made a little bit for a little bit more punishment than the, R the IRX series, so my opinion. Um, but anyways, that button, like I said, that inset button for mic and main. Now when you get the speaker, it's set for line. So you can hook up any source to it, crank it all the way up and you're good to go. Um, but if you go in there and you push that button, you're gonna set it for microphone. So then the microphone's gonna bring that volume up a lot. So you know you get a little bit more sensitivity out of your microphones. Um, make sure that you don't use that with the, um, the line for, for music, okay? You can, but if you start running it at super volumes, you're gonna damage that speaker probably. So that's my opinion and my thoughts on that. So, but it probably will, you know, start clipping and doing things like that because uh, you have that microphone line picked in there. So, like I said, you have to physically change that with like a little screwdriver or pencil or pen. Um, but if you do change it to mic, uh, it's gonna be very sensitive. You will be able to get a lot of volume out of it, but running it at that volume for music is going to probably damage that speaker, okay? So just be careful with that. Uh, you can use it, and it is pretty loud. You can get it pretty loud, but just be careful with that. So I wouldn't recommend doing that, but my opinion. Um, anyways, so that's what that does, your EQ presets. Um, uh, I think we pretty much went over all that. I'm going to go ahead and plug this in, uh, fire it up for you guys and you will see kind of how it sounds. I am going to plug it in right here while I'm talking. i got a microphone here. I'm going to hook up a quarter jack. Um, and then I have a microphone. I'm going to go ahead and plug it in. I want to show you guys something. When you fire the speaker up, it is going to take 15 to 20 seconds to, to go through its little checklist because it is kind of an um, electronic component and it's going to go through all its presets and everything. And then it's going to be show you that it's ready to go. So I will show you that real quick. I'm going to plug it in. This would be a great little speaker to just if you you know doing something. Uh, if you just needed one speaker at one point somewhere, uh, great, very, very loud speaker, and it's perfect for that. Great for any you know uh, announcements or anything as too. Uh, so if you just needed one very loud speaker. Uh, JBLs are, are very known for having great volume, great clarity. Um, it'd be a great speaker to just have one of. Okay, I could put it that way. So, let's uh, let's go into this one more time, guys. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and fire it up, and you guys will be able to see here. It go through its presets. So it's gonna blink right here, blue, and then it's gonna go through all its presets here. And you'll see them light up green. There it goes, it's lighting up green. And it's gonna end up over here. Now that was just probably, you know, a few seconds, um, but it goes through its little checklist. So it does take a couple seconds to get going, guys. So just to let you know uh, that it goes through a couple seconds if that bothers you or anything. 
uh, just so you know that as well. Um, so uh, let's go check the microphone out. Like I said, I have personally, I have the channel one for my line in, so I know it's my line in for my music, and then channel two is for the microphone. So I automatically know that if I use channel two, I'll put a microphone in there. Channel one, I have my line, so I know how that is set already. The microphone works pretty good. Like I said, great for announcements. Uh, you could switch this to a uh, monitor and it sounds pretty good. Clear up the voice a little bit. Uh, sub would do the same thing. You're gonna get those highs out of there. And speech is gonna bring that voice out a little bit more, but it sounds a little more baseful. Like I said, you're gonna have that bass and you're still gonna have that uh, mid-range, but you're gonna take out that treble just a little bit. But pretty good. You can see that uh, my voice sounds pretty good. Great, very good speaker for announcements and things like that. So that is that on that. Um, I just have the volume gain set right in the middle there. So uh, you still have some more to tweak with, so you could definitely pull volume out of the speaker very well. Um, uh, like I said, I'm going to go through, play a quick song, guys. Put some headphones on, help a little bit, and see what you think about those presets. I'm going to kind of go through them. Every time the music stops and you hear a little, that'll be me pressing the button and switching. And just know that when you do press the button, the music does kind of pause for a second uh, to switch the EQ presets, okay? I'm going to go ahead and turn that light on the bottom too so you can see. It does have that light on the bottom. And you're about five, six feet away from the microphone, just to let you know as well. So that is the speaker right yeah, there. Pretty good little little test. And you can see as I went through the pre as I went through the presets on it, you could definitely tell a difference between, you know, uh, the main, the main you got full everything, uh, especially at the end there. And then I went to the monitor and you still had a little bit, but it just cleaned it up a little bit. Then I went to the sub where it completely took everything away and it was just mid bass that you were not even hearing, uh, just a little bit of tones. And then I went back to the uh, speech, and the speech added that bass back in, but then you could only hear, uh, maybe took a little bit of the highs away. So you could definitely tell the differences, in my opinion, uh, but that's going to be up to your ear when you get to hear it. Um, but like I said, hopefully you had some headphones on, you could kind of hear that. And you also noticed that when I pressed the button, just for you know half a second, you hear the 
uh, music clear out. So when it's changing EQ pre EQ presets, it's gonna take that music out for you as well. So uh, just so you guys know that. So like I said, this has been the JBL Eon 610. Uh, in my opinion, just because for the price range uh, that you can probably find the speaker available at, that it's probably better to go with the JBL uh, Eon series over the IRX series, in my opinion. Uh, it's still a good speaker, like I said, but really if you can get the 10 uh, at this, you know, a less price, it'd probably be better to go with the 10, in my opinion, okay? That's just my opinion, the way my brain thinks. Um, and you're still going to get that clarity, uh, still really good. Uh, you're going to get um, a little bit more bass, and um, you're going to get those presets that actually work a little bit better as well. Uh, the only thing you're not going to get is Bluetooth streaming of music, okay, guys? The Eon series will not allow you to do that. But up in a future video, I will show you how easy it is to be able to get that done at a really minimum price as well. So stay tuned for those that video coming up really really soon okay guys um also uh i would just want to thank you one more time for tuning in um and watching this video on the jbl eon 610 two-way uh speaker from jbl okay so thank you so much for tuning in and we'll talk to you guys later it's been midwest raider uh, and i'll check you guys later mm -hmm.